not. There we go. Okay. So uh, let's start with just the arms coming up overhead. And I want you to just lengthen through the waist. Now pull up the, um, pull the rib cage up and knit, knit the rib cage in. And then just do a little lengthening right out from the side. And you can press down through all four corners of the feet so you get that really nice rise from the waist. And then breathe into the middle. And then exhale over to the side again. Again, both feet feel them pressing down. And then you can take the arms back to the center. Now take the arms behind and interlace, slide the shoulder blades down. And then take an in-breath, gaze up. And now tuck the chin and breathe in and out through the nose. Keep the shoulder blades sliding down. And as you really tuck the chin, you'll get a bit more length through the neck. Actually feel yourself close the throat. You're going to squeeze right in through the windpipe trachea. And when you inhale, really suck the air in through your nose, just as if you have straws at the back of the nostrils. Okay. And then just let the arms drop. Now just let the arms rotate. You're going to let them hang and come around and Open up through the shoulder blades. Coming into stimulating the, sh the arms. And then you can draw right back to center. Okay, once again, we'll take the arms up. Now this time, extend through the arms, lift up. And then you're going to exhale, release the hands and just bend the knees and fold forward. So breathing in. And then exhale and fold. We'll do this again. Breathe in and then keep it going. Exhale. Breathe in and exhale. Breathe in. Lift the eyes and exhale. Breathe in. Keep going. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. And then again, a nice bend in through the knees. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Lift. Exhale, up, and exhale. Breathing in, exhale, we've got eight, lift, exhale, up, exhale. Lift the eyes, exhale, five more, lift, and exhale. Just pretend I'm watching you. <laughs> I know it's so easy to get kind of slovenly. See if you can really extend the fingers up. Reach through the whole arm. Exhale. Lift. Last one. I might have done an extra lift. Coming up. Now stay up and then let the arms come right to the sides of the body. Then we'll step right to the front of your mat. Roll the shoulder blades back as you open once again right through the chest. And then let's come right into our first sun salutation. So taking the arms up, breath in. Exhale, fold forward, forward bend. Breathe in, come halfway up, just touch. Exhale, fold forward. Planting the hands, jump or step the legs back. Rotate to the left, draw that shoulder blade back. Back to the center plank to the right. Open through the chest, shoulder blade back. And then you're coming back to your center. Now keep the heels reaching out. Move the inner thighs up towards the ceiling so you have a good strong plank and keep the shoulder blades down. Now let's turn one more time to your left. See if you can come into full plank. Take your time to lift, really increasing the heat in the body right off the top. And then coming back to your center, rotate again. If you need to scissor the top leg forward, that'll give you a wider basis of support. And then you can come back. Now bend the knees. Tuck the toes under, bring the palms forward. Exhale, child's pose down, release the forehead to the floor. Take in two breaths. Really palm the mat out there as you pull the core back on the exhale. And then you can come up. Take the hands right underneath the shoulders. Take an in-breath, arc the back. Exhale and rise into your downward dog. Let your heels fall. Send your inner thighs back. 
Shoulder blades sliding down the back. The top of the head, to just let it reach towards the floor. Now, getting the low core really pulling in, so you're tipping the bum bones up towards the ceiling. And if you need to bend your knees a little to come up on the balls of the feet, to get deeper in the buttocks, in the, in the top of the hamster, that area, just feel free, bend and tip the bum up higher. Okay, we're gonna bend the knees down again into child's pose. So coming down, take the palms forward. Take an inhale, look up, arc the back, and then exhale and release the forehead to the floor. Keep calm in the mat out there. And as you release the forehead to the floor, on the exhale, pull the abdominal wall in. Really stretch underneath the armpits. Great. One more deep expanding breath. Draw the breath well down into the belly. Expand the rib cage. And then come on right back up. Taking the hands under the shoulders. Take an in breath. Lift the eyes. And then exhale and rise into downward dog. Now either stay here or if you're into it, lift the left leg straight up in the air. And come up on the toes of that right foot. Bend that left heel in. And then circle the knee out. Really open through that left thigh. And then extend that left leg out again, really reach and come down. Now bend down again into child's pose and exhale, bend. Take the arms forward, inhale, open the chest, lift the eyes, chin, and then exhale and release the forehead to the floor. Keep on palming the back. Feel really happy. You got up, you're here, you're breathing. You're enlivening the nervous system. So the rest of your day will start off in a totally different awareness. Okay, and then you can feel really self-righteous. Um, now you just take an in-breath, gaze up. Exhale, lift, pulling up through the bum bones. Take the right leg straight up in the air, come on up on the toes of that left foot. Reach the heel out, nice and, nice and strong. Get a really strong reach, really reach. Reach, bend the heel in, circle that knee out, opening, stay with your breath, beautiful reach. And then you can extend that leg out and come down, pulling the bum bones back, lengthening through the spine for one more breath and downward dog. And then come up onto the tiptoes. Jump or step the feet to the hands. Come on, halfway up. Exhale, fold. And now inhale, breathe the arms up, bring the palms together. And then exhale, the arms to center. And coming up again, breathe in, gaze up. Exhale, fold forward. Now breathe in, come halfway up. Just touch the shins. Stay here and let the shoulder blades slide down. Feel your weight evenly distributed through the front and the backs of the feet. And if you can just see, I've really got the back long. So you're sending your bum back. It's kind of like a J-Lo bum. You want to really stick it out. And you want to reach out right through the top of the head. And then you want to exhale. You've got a great hinge. Fold forward. Then jump or step the legs back into your side plank. Coming to your left, either legs straight or bending that underside leg. Feel the best version. And then coming back, breathing in again, open through the chest, draw that shoulder blade back. And then back to your center. Great, and now we're gonna come into your plank. Get the heels really reaching back. Step the feet together. Now pull up through the rib cage and pull the shoulders down. Look ahead three feet. So you're gonna just lengthen the forehead up a bit. Take the feet wide, real precision to the outside edges of the mat. Back to your center. Keep the heels reaching out, shoulder blades down. And again, come really wide. Keep the rib cage in. And then draw back to center. Last time, wide. Reach the heels out. Back to your center. Now we're going to bend the knees down. Lower the pubic bone down and forward like an arc. So you're letting yourself down slowly. Press the elbows right beside the ribs. Press into the palms and gaze ahead. You're lifting the eyes. The shoulder blades are pressing down. And the elbows are pressing down. 
Take in one more breath, send the chest on forward. And then you can bend the knees right under the hips. Take the hands under the shoulders. Now, an in-breath, arc the back, lift the eyes, tuck the tailbone, um, sorry, tuck the toes under and then lift the tailbone high so you lengthen, coming up into your downward dog. Now, once again, take that left leg straight up. Reach up through that left heel, come up on the toes of the right foot, bend that left heel in, and then circle the knee out. Open through that thigh. Strong breath. And then other, and sorry, and then just lift that heel up. I want you to really lengthen. It's like you're going to kick up into a handstand. So that heel lengthens right through the back of the leg. And then bring that left leg down. Here we go. Come on up on the right foot before you can change your mind. And reach up from that heel. Come up on the toes of the left foot. Get really, really reached. Imagine that you're trying to lose all the change in your right pocket for some reason. And you want to really reach the heel. And then bend that heel in. Send the knee high. Circle out. Opening through the top of that thigh. Stay with your breathing. Breath. Good. Extend the leg up. Really reach. Coming down. We're going to come down onto the knees again. Lift the head. Lift the chin. Take the arms forward. Calming the mat. Inhale. And then exhale back into your child's pose. Release the weight of the forehead. And as you keep calming the mat, pull back strongly from the core. One more breath. Okay, very good. Now we'll take the hands under the shoulders. Take an in-breath arc, lift the eyes, exhale, rise into your downward dog. Now jumping or step the feet forward in between the hands, come on halfway up, stay there again. You really keep the bone bones coming back. Reach out from your core, shoulders are down. Exhale, fold forward. And then breathe in, lift from the ribcage, press the pinkies together, and then exhale to center. Right into the next salutation, breathe in, gazing up. Exhale, fold forward, forward bend. Breathe in, come halfway up, just touch. Exhale, fold forward, plant the hands, jump or step the legs back, side plank, whichever is the best version, and then rotate to the other side, breathing. Draw the shoulder back. Come back to your center. Send the heels out. Now, just keep the heels reaching out. And then you can exhale to lower. Now, keep your hands right beside the chest. And you're going to press the elbows back. And press the palms into the floor. And it feels as if you're climbing down, but you stay put with the palms. Bring the feet up in the air. And then take the hands behind. Let the shoulders come forward. Reach the palms back to draw the ribs up. Take a deep expanding breath that might, might even lift you a little bit more. It's like your ribs become an airbag and you really fill that area. And then you come down. Take the hands beside the, um, the chest. And I just have to catch my breath. <laughs> and uh, okay, <laughs> get into the light here. Now take the elbows down. And then press into the uh, elbows, palms, and gaze ahead. Let your shoulder blades slide down. And you're pulling up right from the rib cage. And then you're going to bend the knees in right underneath the hips. Bring the palms under the shoulders. Take an in-breath. Tuck the toes under. Lift the eyes. Exhale and rise into downward dog. Good. Once again, left leg, bring the left leg straight up. Come up on the toes of the right foot. Bend that left heel in and then circle out. Really extend that knee out. Now come in the other direction. Come really high, really high. Really reach the knee. Okay, lift the knee as high as you can. High as you can, opening up that left hip. Right in through the quad. And then extend the leg out high and really reach. Good, come down. Let's come up right away with the right leg. Lift, bend up, reach for the heel, bend that heel and circle out. 
really open through that thigh. Breath is steady. Come in the other direction. Keep that knee coming really out and up. Out and up. Good, extend the leg out, really reach, really reach out, and then come down. Good, stay in the downward dog for two breaths. Keep on uh, letting the head dangle, the top of the head reaching towards the floor. Breathing. Great. Now gazing up, tiptoes, jumpers, step the feet to the hands. Come on, halfway up. Exhale, fold. And now breathe in, bring the arms up overhead, palms together. Exhale to center. One more. Breathing in, gaze up. Exhale, fold forward, reach out with the crown. Breathe in, come halfway up, touch, stay here again. Hands are just touching, really pull the core back to send the bum bones back. Now you're great to hinge. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, jumper, step the legs back, left side plank. Good, see if you want to lift that top leg up, just see what you can get. Coming down, rotate to the other side. Opening, underside, waist lifted. Breath, coming back to your center. Reach the heels out. Now, keep the rib cage coming in. Once, uh, step the feet together, and once again, roll shape to the outside of the right foot. Keeping the feet stacked, nice control. And then back to your center. Over to the left, rib cage in. Good, back to your center. Over to the right. Rib cage in. Back to your center, nice control. And over to the left. Now stay in your plank. Bring the legs wide. Make sure the shoulders stay down. And then step the feet together. And wide. Ribs in and together. And wide, make sure the chin is back slightly so you're not uh, letting the head crane forward to the floor. And then together, here we go, two more. Come wide, keep the ribs in, legs strong, reaching the heels, and together. Last one, bringing the legs wide, reach the heels, step together, bend, lower, keep the hands even with the chest. Take a moment just for me to catch my breath. <laughs> and then press the palms into the floor. If you can knit the elbows in close to the body. Now gazing ahead. And as you press the uh, palms down, get more of a lift. Breathing in to open the ribs. Good. And then breathe in to exhale and draw the knees underneath the hips, tuck the toes under, arcing the back, lifting the eyes, exhale, rise, downward dog. Stay in your downward dog. Now you're going to step the feet together in downward dog. Balls of the feet are together, heels are apart, really pull the bum back. Now turn the heels over to the left and press the heels down. Press down, stretch through the shins, and then come back up onto the balls of foot, balls of the feet, and then over to the right. Press down through both feet as you're pulling up strongly through the core. Back to your center one more time. Over to the left, press the heels down. Keep pulling up from the core nice and long. Back to your center and rotate back. Okay. And and then come back to your center. Step your legs to the outside edges of the mat. Walk your hands in and bring your hands in between the legs or in front, wherever you can be. Now we're going to work through the upper back by coming up onto the fingertips and gazing up as you pull up through the bum bones. Lengthen through the backs of the legs and let your chin lift as your shoulders come down so you're attempting to get that really flat back. Now the knees um, are soft, so you're not like this. You're not locked back, but you're pulling up from the quads. So again, just in case you missed that, it's instead of getting a lock in through the knees, pull up from the quads so you can really lift from your core. Then you can fold forward. 
Come into your forward fold as you continue to pull up through the thighs. Fantastic. And then you're going to walk your hands forward again into downward dog. Step the feet into the usual position, just hip width apart. Bend down onto the knees. And now take your left leg straight back. Reach out through that heel and walk your opposite right hand forward. And then just press that left heel back. You're just gazing straight down. And push the heel out. And then come on back with that left knee. Right hand in, set the right heel out, left arm out, press the right heel away. Stay really long. Keep that heel reaching out. And good. And now come back. And with the knees underneath the hips, take an in-breath, tuck the toes under. Exhale, rise into the downward dog. And then stepping the feet forward in between the hands. Come on, halfway up, lift. And now exhale, fold. And then breathe in and lift, bringing the palms together and exhale back to your center. We're going to take the right leg up and then just grab onto the base of the toes. Lift from the rib cage and now feel yourself extend right from the pubic bone up. You're going to have your shoulder blade back. And as you press this right hip forward, send your right knee down so that you can really open up through that quad and you're staying with your breath. Keep that rise. Good. Keep the knee coming down. Try not to shift the weight, but to be right through the inside of that standing foot, right on the arch side. Breath. Keep rising from the rib cage. And then you can gently release. Here we go. Come on right to the other side. Grabbing onto the base of the toes. Bend that elbow back. Press that left hip forward. Pulling through the rib cage. And keep the ribs drawing in as you press into that standing foot. Now we're going to keep into our balance from this one. So we're going to keep this left foot up and you're going to take the hands behind, grab onto the foot. So I've got both hands grabbing the foot and you kick the knee back more. And this will allow for more opening up in through the bottom of the core. So let's see if I've got balance to show you. You're going to hold on both hands, press the elbows back, send the knee behind more. And the elbows bend back more. Lift from the rib cage. And then if you could please keep that foot up. And then come up and bend the knee up. Cross that ankle over. And then from here, you're going to bend your standing leg and fold forward over the leg. Now keep this right knee rotating out. And keep your foot flexed. So you're going to keep your toes pulled back. This will help to keep the knee stable. Now, as you fold forward, you're bending that standing leg. Now, if you're able to come all the way down, then you may straighten your standing leg. So you may end up coming down and then beginning the straightening of that standing leg as you fold forward. So just feel for what your hip will give you on that right buttock. And take two more breaths. And of course, you may be bending that standing leg a lot. That'll actually give you more of a stretch in your right bum. And then you're breathing, gaze up, lift. Come all the way back up. Take your time, take your time. Lift your ribcage, keep pressing into the standing leg, opening the chest, and then gently release. Okay, that was really good. Now we're gonna take that right leg up. Take the other hand behind. Press the right knee behind. Lift from the rib cage, opening the chest, get the elbows bending back. So here again, you're really opening down in through the lower abdominals as you press the knee well behind you. Opening the chest, keep the lift of the rib cage, press the shoulder back, wonderful stretch, right in through the shoulder. 
And then we take that leg up, feel your center, cross that right foot over, keep the right foot flexed, fold forward from the waist. If you're able to come down, you can come down to fingertips. I know some people use a block here, and um, of course that's brilliant. You can also use a big book, and then you've got that, you've got that floor a little bit closer. And then you can maybe straighten your standing leg a bit or stay bent. If you do keep the standing leg bent, as I mentioned, that's a really good stretch into your, into your right quad, um, your right uh, glute. It'll really help to open that, that left glute, that left buttock. And then, next in breath, slowly, slowly, take a few breaths to come up, lifting, coming all the way back up. And then you can gently release that leg. Okay, wonderful. Now let's take the um, breath of joy. We're gonna do this with uh, the feet just hip width apart and taking the arms to the outside. We'll go for 35 pumps and breathing in. And then just relax for three regular full breaths. And remember, of course, the shoulders are back, the rib cage is in, head is back slightly. It's a great place to practice keeping the, the head back so you get more of a stretch, um, more um, sort of rate, uh, support right in here. So, as I've been really emphasizing, because of how much time many of us need to spend at the desk, just make sure the shin sits back. It's like a drawing back like your head is on the headrest of the car, and that helps to keep ah, nice and long in through the cervical spine. Okay, ready? And 35 pumps, here we go. And then just relax. That's our last set for today. We're going to take the left arm in front, take the right arm under. And coming into a full eagle, eagle pose, we now take the left foot up and cross that left foot over. Now maybe your lower leg will wrap. Then you let your knees bend back like you're sitting in a chair. You fold forward from the waist, but the chest does not come down. So you keep that fold. You keep dropping into your standing leg. Absolutely put your bum against something if that helps to feel how you can drop into the standing leg. That can really aid your concentration by having something to let go into. And keep the core strong. Notice on your exhales, you can really pull the core in. Okay, lovely. Come on back up. And then just gently release the arms. Whew. Now let's take the right arm up, left arm under. As you lift that right foot, drop into the standing leg. Feel that leg come across. And as you bend, keep the ribs lifted. Let your bum sit back in a chair. And gaze just past your hands. Keep your breathing steady. Good, the exhale your core really pulls in. Breath. 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 One more breath. and then gently release. Very nice, let the shoulders roll back. Now we'll take the legs, um, I'd like you to take the legs wide so you're coming into straddle. So turn um, to the side of your, turn facing the side, have your feet on the mat, come about a leg length and a half apart. Inhale, open the chest, exhale the hands to the waist, 
Breathe in, lift, and then exhale and fold. Now take your hands just in line with your feet. And as you breathe in, gaze up and straighten the arms. And then you exhale and you fold. And with your hands just in line with your body, start to push through with the elbows bending back as you pull up strongly from the core. I have to watch my mat because I'm slipping. So do feel that push through. Do you let your head dangle? Stay with your breath. Now on your next in-breath, come up. Now we're going to turn to your right or whichever foot is at the front. You're going to turn that foot out. Take the right hand on the inside. Bend that front right knee and then take the top arm up. Keep your chin in slightly as the back leg presses down and as you draw the ribcage back. Stay with your breathing. Keep the chin in. Stay with your breath. One more breath. Lovely. Now we'll turn. Come up onto the back toes. Now bend that left knee down. Walk the hands forward. Lift the chin and pull up from the core. So you're pulling up from the rib cage. The back toes are tucked under as you pull up. Lift and lift. Now take the right arm to the side. Turn. Open the chest and keep that front right knee directed forward. Chest is open. Breath. And now you can come down. Now we're going to walk the hands in and then straighten the front leg. Take an in-breath, reach out from the chest and then exhale and drop the chin. You're coming towards the inside of that right foot. So you're not turned, but you are keeping your body squared right over that leg. Stay with your breath. Breath. Excellent. One more breath. Point the toes to stretch in through the shin and the ankle. See if you can reach out. Sorry, two more breaths now. <laughs> Just so we can get a little further. Keep reaching out right from your pubic bone. Extending forward. And then breathe in. Come on over. Take both hands on the inside, lift that back knee, change legs. Take the hands over to the right to get the left leg or whatever your opposite leg is forward. Take that inside hand and then turn this way and press onto the inside of the foot. The back foot is pressed out, your leg length and a half apart. Turn, look up, keep that front leg, whichever one you have, bent into a right angle as you drive the shoulder blade back. Be happy, you did it. You're bending and opening and breathing open the lungs, especially the back away, so you've got that back foot pressing down. Chest is open and breath. Okay, now we turn. You come up onto the back toes, runner's lunge, reach the back heel out, touch that knee down, and then you can come forward. Lift up and pull up from the rib cage. Let's have both hands here. Pull up, keep pulling up from the rib cage here. Chest coming forward, shin reaches. You're lengthening from your spine. And then exhale on the next exhale, straighten the front leg. Now just point the toes, come out over the leg, stay there. And my breath, my water, here we are. Just keep reaching right out over that left leg. On your exhales, you can really pull the core in. And you really pull up from um, the, the waist, so you're pulling in on that left side. Now then you take your hands both on the inside. We're going to change this into a lift of the back leg. Step the foot in six inches. Take the hands about five inches in front of your foot. Take that back leg up, reach up through the heel, and then take yourself right up onto the fingertips. Turn that back heel out, 
and now turn your body to the right or if you're if you're finding that too challenging you could stay down like me and you could keep the leg reaching out but keep your hands down so you keep that leg reaching if you're able you might be able to bring that top arm up and reach and extend but do keep the leg reaching out in whichever position you can be in and make sure the breathing stays constant in and out try not to get the pose but get the breath to pose you so it will really open and lengthen you and then then come down sometimes you don't want to stop once you find the pose <laughs> no just have your feet hip width apart and again your hands are forward you're probably on the tips of the fingers now pull up through the buttocks so you send the bottom bones back Good, I'm just going to turn. Now we're going to take the opposite foot up. So again, hands are forward about four inches. Take the back leg up. And you're reaching out from there. Get long, strong through that heel. And then potentially lifting that outside arm up. And I'm going to stay looking down. You might turn and look to your side and turn your body to the side and keep that leg reaching out like you're pressing a brake. The leg is strong. You keep your breathing constant. Pull in through the core as you get out there. Really reach. Strong. Breath. 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 And then you can take that leg down. Take the arms down. Now you're going to come from here right into a squat um, all the way down. And potentially you might be on the balls of the feet. If it's possible, come down to the heels. And if you need to stay in the strengthening of the quads this way, that will still get the stretch in through the low back. If you're in a forward squat, the feet are hip width apart. Hands are in front, and you're letting your head dangle. And breathe in and out through the nose to round your spine. And then slowly lower down. Okay, very good. Now we're going to take your right leg out. And then draw your left heel in so you're pressing it right onto the inside of the thigh. From this position, take the arms up, lift from the rib cage, keep this left heel pressing in and extend out over the leg. You want to pull the toes back as you reach out through the heel. Extend forward. Now keep on pulling up from the thigh, pulling into the hip as you come forward. Stay with your breathing. And then you can come on all the way up. Okay, we're going to turn this right heel, sorry, uh, the left heel, um, coming out to the side. And then you're going to lift right out from that side. Get a good stretch and reach from there. Lengthen, keeping that left hip pressing down as you come over. Stay with your nice deep breath. Breath. And then you can come on all the way back up. Now we switch legs, taking the heel in. Bring the heel up as high as you can, further out if you feel the knee. And come right onto the even bum bones. Rise, gazing up. And then exhale. Reach out with the heel and pull the toes back as you extend forward. Keep uh, the rib cage. Um, up and forward as you pull baby toes back, baby toes side, and you get that reach forward. Keep your shoulders free as you extend. Reaching and lengthening. Nice, beautiful breaths. And then you can come on up. Now we take that left heel to the outside. Get the heel in nice and snug right up to the perineum. Lift, lengthen. The perineum is right in line with the pubic bone. And technically, it's a band of muscle that's just in front of the anus and behind the genitals. And 
when you press the heel into that area, it's like you're pre presenting a pressure that is energetically meant to push the Kundalini energy up through the spine. And it's, if you've ever had the feeling of that rise, it's like a, it, it can be like a heat, but it's really more like a helium, can be a very, very quick burst that you feel yourself literally being lengthened. It's effortless, incredible feeling. And that's why there's a whole dedication to a style of yoga that, that works just on the Kundalini, Kundalini yoga. Now take uh, both legs in front. And we're going to bend the knees and have the feet kick with apart. Their hands are coming behind. And you're going to do an inhale and then gaze up and send your knees up and start. And you also might be back here and doing a wonderful lift like this. The shoulders will come forward, not back. And that will get the line in the backs and the arms. And if you're into the full pose, you can bring the head back. This is one of the very few poses we do this, that the head comes back, the chin towards the ceiling. Your shoulders spin in and your breathing is steady. And two more breaths. Just really keep the tailbone reaching out and keep pressing into the feet. Okay, that was really good. We're gonna do that one more time. Now, if you have any questions about that pose, could you just please put your mic on and just ask me any questions? I'm gonna uh, have us do it again. I'm gonna show you the full pose, which is to have the legs straight. And again, any questions like that. And, and it's really good for uh, strengthening the lower legs and also right into your center. I find it super challenging and I, if I don't do it on a regular basis, I find it really challenging. So the toes are pointed, you're sending your bum out, and you're lifting through your rib cage, and you press the palms right into the floor as the hips lift. The toes point, or you come back to the tabletop version of the feet apart, and then you scoot the tailbone out, lift through the rib cage, and let your shoulders spin in. The weight is straddling through the backs of the arms into the floor. And you keep the tailbone reaching out. And then you can gently come on down. And release down. Now we're going to come all the way down to the floor, just in time. <laughs> and you're going to cross your left ankle on top of the right, and then pull the legs in. Bend the ankles across and pull over as much as you can, stretching right into the sacrum and roll back. Nice deep breaths. And then you can gently recross, take that right ankle on top, drawing the ankles over, stay with your breathing. A little further across if you can. Great. And then let the left leg down. Bring the right leg across so that you're doing a lion pigeon, pulling that right ankle towards the left shoulder, coming across. Do a little roll side to side. Get your shoulders dropped back. And then you can reach that heel up, lengthen, Pull the heel down towards you, pull the toes back, and the foot on the floor, reach that heel out. Now lift the upper body, contract through the core, and get a wonderful lift as you extend the leg out as straight as you can, and keep that left heel actively reaching out. And then you can lower, see if you can pull in a little more. And of course, you might want to do this, you might want to bend the knee, and it's like a, the knee presses to the outside. And that will help to get right into the hamstring. And then you can gently draw that leg across over to the left. Take your hand on the outside of the foot as you draw across. Keep the right arm to the side, gaze to the right. Draw that right shoulder blade back. Breath.
One more breath. And then breathe in. Now just pull that knee in, bend the knee, and come on into fantastic circles right around. And then come on in the other direction. Now as you're practicing, just notice if you find there's an area that you feel like a coldness and where you feel a heat. And that's, that's really where you're getting more blood in through the muscle fibers. Um, but what's really delightful about yoga is sometimes you get a surprise and you'll feel an area kind of like burst open, almost like bubble paper and one part didn't pop but it filled. It's a really neat feeling. And then take that left leg up. I had a, a feeling last night I've never had before where I had the wind knocked into me and it happened right in my thoracic area, so just behind the heart. And it was the most incredible feeling. I felt as if you know, just like an airbag in a car, it got filled past its capacity and I could feel parts of my body open up and there was a, there was a real change in mechanism of the upper back. It was quite profound and I tried to be normal. Hold in as you reach that right leg out. Core solid. Really pull up. Breath, breath. And then you're coming down now. You come over to the right and draw that left heel up as much as you can. <sighs> Keep the chest open. Keep Drawing that left shoulder back. Stay with your breathing. And now one more breath. Okay, lovely. Bring that leg back up. Bring the right leg up to meet it. And now pull both legs towards you and do a bum on the floor plow. So the heels reach out. You're pulling your toes back and just hold on to the feet, pull down through the core. So you're pulling the low back down, but the heels reach over. And if your hamstrings are really tight, it might look like this. You know, you might have more like a narrow, happy baby, and that's great too. It's just if you can get the backs of the knees, that would be good. So if you can reach the heels out to get that, the insertions right in here to get extra long, get that area open. Keep in mind, we never open this area, nothing. There's nothing we do during the day that opens that area. So it's really good to get these. Um, these are insertions. We want to get them stretched. Now then, just bend the knees. Bring the heels down. Bring the feet to the outside edges of the mat. Take the arms up overhead. Stretch, reach, reach through the fingertips. Palms are up, stretch the fingers even. And then let your body back. With the feet wide, bend both knees over over to the left, press that top right knee away, and both shoulders are back. The chest is open. You really feel yourself nice and open through the side waist. Take, if you haven't, that left ankle above the right knee. You want to really stretch out from there and just keep that wonderful length. And one more nice, deep, full breath, expanding the rib cage. And then you can breathe in, come on back up. Over to the right, press that top left knee away. You're lengthening and you really get a good reach. Now you'll notice, oh, my little squirrel friend's looking at me. Take the right ankle just above the left knee and you want to press that top left knee away. You're opening through the side, beautiful deep breaths. Really drop that left shoulder blade back there.
And then on your next in breath, draw both knees back up to the middle. And then just let your low back settle for a moment and do a little jiggle side to side. Get a tiny wave of the knees, pressing the low back down each side. And then you can bend your knees, draw your knees in wide, really wide. Come into happy baby, holding on to the low legs, maybe the feet, and let the knees bend to the outside. Shoulders dropped back. The bend of the elbows pulls the feet in, the upper body lets go. Good, and then just hold on behind the knees. You're just gonna hug around. And maybe you can clasp your hands together. Come on into toe circles. And the other way. Good, and then you can let your heels drop. Now, just once again, stretch the arms overhead, reach through the fingertips, lengthen the legs, reach out through the heels and pull the toes back, get nice and long through the torso. Lengthen, 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 lengthen. And then you can let the arms come right back down to the sides of the body and let your feet roll out. Now, as you stay with your breath, come then into a total feeling of surrender that your whole body releases into the floor as you come right into Shavasana, lying relaxation and completely let go there. Feel the Feel the eyes rest back in the sockets. And just feel the weight of the head heavy on the floor. Notice if there's any way that she could let go more. Feel the feet rolled out in relaxation. Keeping your awareness on your breathing, continue to let go. One more minute of breathing and releasing.
And now on your next in-breath, take a deeper breath in and completely exhale. And again, a nice deep breath, expand, draw the breath even into the back and exhale. Now take the hands behind the head to finish with a few neck stretches. You're gonna take the right hand behind the left ear. Take the left arm out to the side and then take an in-breath and lift the chin over to the right, looking down and pull the head in as much as you can. Keep that left arm drawing back in one more breath. And then you can gently lower, releasing down. Now take your left hand behind the right ear and then looking down, pull up to your left, tucking the chin, looking down, the right arm resting back, shoulder dropped. Good, you're breathing in and out through the nose. And then once again, gently release. Let the weight of the head down. And then you can turn, you're gonna lift your head and turn all the way to the left. And you let the head down again on that left ear. Drop your opposite right shoulder. Go into your breathing in and out so that you can stretch right through that right side of your shoulder and neck. You might even press the head a little bit down. Make sure that right shoulder keeps dropping back. And then on your next in breath, you roll to the middle. Now lift the head, turn all the way to the right. Bring that right ear down, draw the opposite left shoulder back. Good, paste that right ear down to the floor. Stay with your breathing. One more breath. Really good. And then you can just come on right back to the middle and let your head gently roll side to side. And then lie for a moment. And in this position, set your intention for this day. How would you like to experience this day? Feel the shoulders resting back. Fabulous. And then gently, um, sorry, so that intention that you set for that day, for today, um, just feel it and there, you're done. And then we'll come right up into seated position and take a moment to just center, let your whole body go. Just feel everything, all the postures that you've done, where you might notice some more energy in your body or in a joint. And then we'll bring our hands together and bow in namaste. Namaste. Have a fantastic day, you guys. And uh, I'll see you either in the morning or, um, let's see, yeah, either in the morning. And 